I have literally been shopping the whole store. Look at all these boxes. This is how my house is looking at right now. All these for the dog. So let's just get started with this haul. So let's start with the beds and the crates and all that good stuff. The first thing you want to get your new puppy is definitely a crate. When you bring a new puppy to your home, you want to confine it to a safe space so that in case he or she feels threatened, he can easily associate the crate to be his safe space so this is the crate I chose to go with it's really big this one accommodates about 30 to 50 pounds my dog is gonna be um, a medium-sized golden doodle -doo is usually between 30 to 50 pounds and I think this is gonna be sufficient for him the next thing I got is this playpen the reason why I got this playpen is to confine him in one area especially when I'm not gonna be around all the time so I plan to attack Touch this playpen to the crate so that it can give the puppy a little more room and associate the crate for at least napping during the day and if he wants to play I don't want to give him the full house to himself I want him to just get used to this one area where he can play and also take naps if he would wish to do so to go inside his playpen I'm gonna be putting this pad underneath it just so he can protect the flooring I don't want any accidents and if there's any accident this waterproof pad is washable so you can just toss this bad boy into the washer and it's gonna be good to go I also got this bed as you've just seen in the previous clip and I forgot to do a voiceover for this one and it's just this big comfy bed that I can take out the playpen if he wants to chill with me anywhere else other than his playpen and to go with his chilling stuff I also got him this pet blanket it's really really soft and I liked this brown color because it just camouflaged well with his kennel so yeah this next item I think is my favorite. I didn't want to get another plastic or wire crate. I wanted to get this wooden one to serve as a nightstand as well. So I plan to put this on the side of my bed as another nightstand. This comes with its own mattress. <laughs> this thing is so big. Wow. I am 5'2", and I can attest that this panel is big. I like this mattress better, so I'm going to keep this one. I plan to tuck in the pee pad inside the mattress because the mattress has a removable cover. So I can conceal it in a way. It's not just in plain sight where he can see it and decide to pee on it. Because it actually goes so well with my furniture in the bedroom, so... This is just going to serve as another nightstand. And that is that. These are the pads I bought from Marshalls. I wanted something with the charcoal lining. The charcoal is an order reducing layer. So I got this one from Marshalls. But you can easily get this one from Amazon. I'm going to try and find some for you guys and link it below. And these are all the layers this pee pad has and I think this is really good for absorbing so inside his confinement areas especially the kennel when he's gonna be sleeping at night one thing I love about this breeder they give you a blanket that all his little mates have been on they've left all their scents on it so they send you with one blanket at home and this is what he's gonna be sleeping with in his kennel let's move on to food and treats he's gonna be eight weeks old so I didn't want to buy a lot of miscellaneous treats or greenies I've actually had so many dog professionals being against the greenies and I thought I would ask my breeder she recommended some antlers I think these are bully sticks from Amazon and for the food she did recommend the TLC food TLC food is not sold in stores you have to buy it directly from their manufacturers and that's what the puppy has been feeding on so yeah I chose to just buy that on auto ship so when you purchase it on auto ship they just deliver it to your doorstep automatically you don't have to manually go on the website and place an order that's not for you <laughs> that's not for you mommy as for the treats i couldn't buy the greenies like i just said i bought these zuki treats from petsmart or petco and a lot of dog trainers have been recommending these treats 
I'm also going to be stocking up on some bully sticks because when I checked for them on Amazon, they were out of stock. I know when teething starts, it's going to be the worst. So I need to stock up on all the chewing toys, treats I can put my hands on. <laughs> this is probably the best, best investment. And it was only about $80. This automatic feeder. So the way this bad boy works, you can go to the smart life app and connect it to your bluetooth you can set meal plans look at your dog's weight from the first appointment and then look at the foods recommendations per weight so i did all the calculations and i'm going to be giving him 10 feeds per meal you can automatically press feed on the app or you can set it automatically to the little food at whatever time and whatever portion you set it at. So this is a good find. Then to go with that, I also got this automatic water dispenser that my cat also has. Just to show you guys how that works, of course my cat will not leave the dispenser now. She always stays here drinking water like it's running away. So with the water, it does come down with gravity, so once the level of the water in the bowl is depleting, it just constantly adds and adds and adds and adds. So that was a good find as well. So for lunch, when the puppy is now becoming more trained and more advanced in his tricks, I plan to feed him now on his puzzle toys. That is also part of his interactive eating. It eliminates boredom in your puppy. So you just put some treats or your kibble in all the spaces and your dog has to hunt for them by sniffing and lifting up the lids. I think that's going to be too advanced for an eight-week puppy. I'm going to start with the ball one and then graduate to the, to the puzzle one because I want to work with his age at the moment. Um, and also to store the food, I bought this airtight container from Marshalls. It's literally the best thing. It holds about 8 pounds of food and this feeder also holds about 4 to 5 pounds as well. So in total this whole food packet is about 15 pounds and half and half in both the feeder and the storage container they both fit perfectly. And this container also comes with a scoop so if you just want to scoop it up with the measuring spoon if you want to portion out your food this is also great pay a visit to your local marshals you might find some really really good finds like the toys i'm about to show you guys so good lastly for the food compartment i got these treat jars this is where i'm gonna be storing his antlers his bully sticks just any treats i'm gonna be getting him and there's nothing special to talk about this. I found this to be very cheap in Marshalls compared to Amazon. Amazon, something like this, will cost me about $30 for one jar. I got both of them for $18, so that was a good find. Also, for interactive, this can serve as a toy slash interactive fitting. The Kong. The Kong, Kong, Kong. So many dog professionals have been talking about this Kong. And I got the classic red one. Um, it's for standard. It can handle about from dogs from about 30 to 50 pounds. Like I say, the dog is going to be about 40 to 50 pounds as a medium golden doodle. How I plan to use it in the morning, being that let's say I have to go to work, I'm just going to be having a 15 minute training session and then pour water in the remaining of the kibo food, put it in the freezer for a few, then give it to him once I am. Um, heading out so it can keep him busy and not so attached when I'm leaving him in his crate, if that makes sense. Let's move on to all the toys I've gotten the dog. The first ones are just this squishy, looks like a bag of chips. It's called Lazy, but this is Lay's chips, <laughs> but for doggies. The fabric of it is really strong. I don't think this is easily chewable. For interactive purposes to play tag of war, these are the toys that you need. I just got this. Who is this? It has all these different legs that can be pulled. So you can hold one end, the dog can hold one end. And this is good for interactive play, especially when you want to tire your dog down. For my chew toy, I bought this puppy starter kit from Nyla Bone. And they do recommend you to start with this, then 
slowly graduate to this and this is for the tough chewers you can get this at your local pet smart or petco i also got this from marshall's this are, this are really cute you got your vodka you got your whiskey you got your tequila i think this is really cute happy hour for doggies sign me up and i plan to put all these toys in this bone shaped storage wicker basket i think this is really really cute your main toy categories that you need are the chew toys interactive toys what else your plush toy the only plush toy he has is the snuggle toy now this toy has a heartbeat inside and then it feels like he has one of his later mates and I thought that was a good, it's quite on the pricier side, but it's good to just soothe your dog down and calm it down. Especially being that it's going to be in a new environment. So I plan to give that to him in his kennel when he's falling asleep. I think that is all for toys. Let's move on to some training items that I got. The two main items I got for training him, of course, it's the bell it's not too loud to a point where it gets irritating so i'm slowly gonna incorporate this in his training sessions i'm gonna put one of these in his playpen and then one of it in his kennel upstairs so that he can just ding 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 when he needs to go outside it comes in a set of two and then i also got this clicker thingy majiggy that you used to press when you're training the dog so let's say he does something right you say yes good sit the thing with this you have to click it right on demand like right after they've done the action you want them to do so once they sit or lie down or they tumble around or they whatever trick you're teaching them once they do it, you say yes good boy good sit at least that's what i've gathered from all these can you tell I've been binge watching training videos? Yes, I have. Yes, yes, I have. That is it for my training tools. Let's move on to some grooming essentials that I got. First things first, I ordered this deodorizing wipes from Marshalls. Um, it comes in a pack of 200 and I plan to use this ones after walks and after he poops because I want my baby to have a clean bum and clean paws. I got this one in a set of two as well. For shampooing and conditioning, I did ask my breeder which one she would recommend and she did say these ones are the best. The Cowboy Magic. So I got the Cowboy Magic shampoo and the Cowboy Magic conditioner i have read the reviews on this thing i don't know what is in it that makes the coat look all shiny and clean basically it tames all the matting it's very neutral scented so it's not too strong um which i don't mind and to go with this once i give my puppy a bath i got this grooming kit that comes with a brush y'all see the prongs It comes with a brush. It comes with a very strong comb. The teeth are very, very strong. They're not flimsy at all. And it also comes with a nail clipper. Well, I don't plan on trimming his hair just yet, but once he's here, once we've bonded well, I'm not gonna start grooming him right away because it's something I have to build positive association with. Once he's all ready, I think I'm now gonna buy the grooming kit where i can now start trimming his little hairs so that's it for now for grooming just brushing and combing because we don't want the coat to mat to clean his mess up i got this stain and order eliminator from amazon and you can just spray it when they pee so i think it breaks down all the pee enzymes and leaves your surface smelling fresh okay we are almost there i think this is the final category oh hold on no we are not almost there i also bought this microfiber towel that apparently absorbs faster and keeps your dog warm 
when they've just had a bath and I'm also going to be using a microfiber cloth to just give him a little TLC in the morning wipe his face you know just exactly how you take care of a baby because yes I'm going to be that mom and for his little paws I bought this pore protection balm I'm going to be putting one where we've come from outside so I've wiped the paws with the wipes and then I'm just gonna be putting this protection balm and this one is from a brand called Natural Dog Company and yeah I think this one is on the pricey side it's literally like a deodorant size for $17 let me see what the hype is about the last category that I'm gonna show you guys is to do with the leash, the collar, the poop bags I did get this collar from Hamilton it's just a regular black collar with a buckle and this is the 20 inch and this is the smallest size you can get it to and I also got this black regular um, leash and how cute is this <laughs> poop bag it comes with this um, pinkish poop baggies and how cute is this poop bag holder it looks like exactly like the poop emoji so you just insert your baggies from down here and then you just attach it to your leash just like so I also bought 900 baggies from Amazon Essentials look at all these baggies of course you know what baggies are used for when he's outside I plan to carry this fanny pack it's like a waist bag that you put it around you like so and what I like the most about it is you can insert your buggies in this pocket then dispense them through here like so and then if you still want to walk you can hang your used baggies on this hook and then over to this other side is this water bottle holder that you can just put the water bottle inside um, in case the dog gets thirsty and then in here you can put your treats whatever you want because it has another pocket in here and it just has another pocket so I plan whenever I'm out or let's say we go hiking I plan to put the paw protection balm in here um, a couple of wipes this is the water bottle that I got it has a portion below it that you can also store some kibble that you can feed your dog kibble or treats that you can you know keep your dog close by when you're out and about and just you want to reward him for any good behavior so I plan to put this bottle in here whenever we are out and about and as a bonus welcome home whatever since I'm getting him during almost winterish I got him this cute little jacket from Marshalls that he's going to be wearing when we're taking walks, okay? I don't want my dog to get sick, okay? And I think this is so cute! And that is it for this haul. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you an idea of what you need. But if you want to see more videos of me and my new pup, stay tuned. This series is going to be for you if you want to see that. The next video you're going to be seeing after this is going to be the vlog of me going to pick him up. And I'll see you then.